Hello, welcome back to Ace Attorney. <coughs> I am Ed I am Edgeworth. <laughs> what fucking edging? I sorry. Bro, it's a bit weird. I'm right here. <laughs> <laughs> what a great way to start the episode. Let the witness Miss April may take the stand. Exactly what part of her is <laughs> innocent. The her in the court is the fucking funniest thing ever. You'll see. You'll see why. Witness your name, please. April May. At your service. Wink. <laughs> Jesus, that's good. Water. An introduction should not require any reaction from the crowd. Everything. Yeah, I know. The witness will refrain from wanton winking. <laughs> oh, yes, your honor. <laughs> this is not good. She already captured the heart of every man in this courtroom. Tell us, tell us, where were you on the night of September the 5th when the murder occurred? <sighs> this is no time to sleep! <laughs> <laughs> um, gee, I was like, in my hotel room. Gee. I checked in right after lunch. And this hotel is directly across from the Fay and Co. law offices. Mm, that's right, big boy. Please testify to the court about what you saw. Witness testimony. It was like nine o'clock at night. I looked out the window, you know, and then... Oh, I saw a woman with long hair being attacked. The one attacking her was the mousy girl sitting in the defendant's chair. Then the woman, like, dodged to one side and ran away. But that girl, she caught up to her and, and she hit her. So already, do you see a contradiction in that? <laughs> then the woman with the long hair, she kind of slumped. The end. That's all I saw. Every little bitsy witsy. Wink. <clears throat> hmm. Well, Your Honor, I see. It is a remarkably solid testimony. I don't see a need to trouble the witness any... <laughs> Wait, Your Honor. Yes, Mr. Wright. What about my cross-examination? I thought the witness's testimony just now was quite firm, didn't you? Mr. Wright, I understand you were Miss Mia's phase understudy, were you not? You must know her techniques well. Her cowardly way of finding tiny faults in perfectly good testimonies. Hey, how dare you? Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> Go <laughs> well, suck it. <laughs> well, Mr. Wright, will you cross-examine the witness? Yes. Gladly cross-examine those titties. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so what did you say your name was again? <laughs> doom, 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 doom. <laughs> Let me just weigh up these pros and cons. Damn, one's uneven. <laughs> Sorry. I'll gladly proceed with the cross-examination. Only because I have a feeling Edgeworth doesn't want me to. For fuck's sake. <laughs> she has to have some weakness. She does. Very well, you may begin your cross-examination. Literally press on the dodge to one side. Press on it. Because that, okay. was, that was the fucking... Because she died at the window. No, it was like, no, like a night. Yeah, no, no, and then, no. ooh. <laughs> <laughs> the one attacking you was a messy girl. girl. Then the one, like, like dodged to one, one side, side and ran away. Yeah. Hold it. She dodged... Dodged what? Well, the attack. Please continue your testimony. What? For that girl, she caught... Fuck, was there any... And she hit her... Oh, is there any... Fuck, I don't remember this case as well. This is like, this, this is like the second easiest case. <laughs> Shit. On, on, look at the... um. That's it. Nothing really jumps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, it's like 9 o'clock at night. Looked out the window. What's the evidence? Maybe for a few minutes after being hit. Um, check the floor plans. It doesn't have the body. Fuck. If it had the body, then you could do it. Okay. Yeah, I know, but it doesn't have that marked. I guess you can kind of just, I guess, like, I don't know, press, I guess. <laughs> I'll press this. Yeah, right. Nah, there's music. No, 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 no. Yeah, pressing, pressing with music. Uh, if you press and there's music, it doesn't matter. Some no. might say pretty if that's your thing. She, me is incredibly attractive. Thing. And the person attacking her, 
And he has a, one attacking elves and Elsie girl sitting in the defender's chair. Okay. Um, if she was looking on, she would have seen who was attacking her. She saw this whole thing. Yeah, then she ran away. Maybe it is a flame because you No, see- but she's saying she saw who was attacking her. So then she would have seen Big Beef Man. Yeah, but she doesn't want to say that. Yeah, but she's just, clearly it. I'm just going to press it. Yeah, sure. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Oh, yeah, no, it doesn't matter. Yeah, no, but you can press as many times as you want. I think there's only one case in the first game where pressing actually does take off things. And that's, and that's just because you deal with an absolute cunt of a prosecution. I didn't know she was the defendant. <laughs> well, well, you know. You know. <laughs> you know. <laughs> she, she had a girlish physique. Women know these things. Look, I, I just know, okay? There was only one person at the scene of the crime with a short, girlish figure. Unless you're considering yourself as one of them. <laughs> Question the testimony. Hold on a minute. That testimony stinks! <laughs> Miss May, I'm willing to bet you that saw you saw nothing. nothing. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, because no, because what? I plead no. Nah. <laughs> yeah, because here's, here's the thing: if she ran away, she only had access to that one window. Yep. There you go. Did you really see the defendant at all? <laughs> Mister Wright, what's the meaning of this? Yes, what is the meaning of somebody <laughs> tell me because I'm clueless about this? I mean. Okay. If you'd really witnessed my client, Maya Fay, you would have noticed her clothes before noticing her physique. Oh, yeah, true. Because she's wearing, like, fucking this. <laughs> it's like, no one wears that. No one wears clothes like this on a daily basis except her. And I'm no expert on fashion, but her hairdo looks far from normal to me. And then again, so does mine, but we don't yeah, know yeah. yeah, then again. However, the witness's testimony mentions neither of these things. The testimony is bogus. But, but... Still, we don't know if she was dressed that way the night of the murder. She was, Your Honor. I saw her. Yeah, exactly, you're, you're a witness. And so did Detective Gumshoe. What do you say to that, Miss May? Row. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to say? You mean lawyer? I, I saw what I saw. I just didn't think all the trifling little details were necessary, darling. Miss May, the court would like to remind you to please omit nothing in your testimony. <laughs> jiggle, jiggle. <laughs> I'm sorry, Your Honor. I'll be a good girl, I promise. Wink. Your testimony again, if you would. Damn, I almost had her. She'll, she'll, she'll slip up again. Dun, dun. I did see everything. Ah, I did. <laughs> there you go. The victim, the woman, dodged the first attack and ran off to the right. Then the girl in the hippie clothes ran after her. And she hit her with the weapon. I saw it. I did. That... That clock, um, the kind of statuey clock, the thinker, I think. Well, does the accuracy of my report not startle you? How did she know it's a clock? She didn't say dodged again. Pun? Oh, she said dodged, but she also... She didn't say dodged this time. Didn't she? No. Please begin the cross-examination. She did say dodged, I did see everything I did, yeah, yeah, yeah. The victim and the woman dodged the first ah, time okay. and ran off to the right. But she said clock. How do you know it's a clock? It's a statue. <gasps> it, it, you wouldn't have known it's a clock unless knowing prior. That, that clock. Kind of that statuey clock. The thinker, I think. A clock? I didn't press anything. <laughs> didn't this come up in another testimony recently? Well, well, don't look so sour, Mr. Lawyer. You can't win them all. No, but... I have a feeling I'm onto something. Yeah, you present the clock. Let me present. I think. I think if you present the clock. Yeah, but it's actually a clock. It's objection. Objection. Miss May, what you said just now was quite revealing. 
Revealing? Ooh. <laughs> it's like a, you ooh. lie there, wouldn't you, naughty Mr. Lawyer? <laughs> you just said that the statue of the thinker was a clock. But there's no way of knowing that just by looking at it. <laughs> Another person in much the same position as you recently called this a clock, too. And he was found guilty of murder. It's a guy with the black pot spot on his head. Order, order! Miss May, can you explain how you know this was a clock? Oh, uh... Objection. The witness saw the murder with her own eyes. That's all that's important here. The defense is trying to confuse the issue with trivial concerns. Yes, yes, of course. You will withdraw your question, Mr. Wright. Bullshit, I win. <laughs> but questions are all I have, Your Honor. And as you may recall, I've caught murderers with these questions before. Well, only once. Objection sustained. You may continue to question the witness. Whew, that was close. If he stopped me there, the trial wouldn't be over. Huh, what? So, what happens now? What happens now is you answer my question. How did you know it was Clark? Well, th that's because I heard it? Yes, I heard it say the time. How the fuck did you hear it from there? <laughs> so you've been to the law offices of Faye and Kerr. No, no, hey, I didn't say that. Why would I go there? Heard it from my hotel room. He. <laughs> okay, so I'd like to point out as well that he, um, Mia had removed all the clockwork from it, <laughs> so she couldn't have heard it. The law officers of Fanco where the murder took place is very close to the hotel. That'll be in the phone. She could easily have heard the clock. Hmm. Well, Mister Wright, are you satisfied? No. <laughs> Fuck nah, off. bitch. No, Your Honor. I can't just give up now. I'm not satisfied because she couldn't, it couldn't have wrong. It couldn't have wrong. Yeah, it couldn't have wrong. There you go. Your Honor, members of the court, it is inconceivable that the clock in question rang. It's empty. That clock is missing its clockwork. How could you possibly just take a look right now? By golly! <laughs> oh! Oh my god! <laughs> See anything interesting, Your Honor? It is as the defense says. This clock is missing its clockwork. It's quite empty. Mr. Wright, would you care to explain to the court the meaning of this? It is as you can see. The clock was empty. Couldn't have rung. Therefore, this witness is a big fat liar. Yeah, that's the only word. That's the only word she cares about. Well, Miss May. Oh, quite a show you put on for us, Mister Wright. He knew the clock was empty. Somehow, he knew. I'm afraid you've forgotten one thing, however. Indeed, the clock is empty, as you say. It can't ring. However, we must ask. When was the clockwork removed? If it was after the witness heard the clock, then there is no contradiction. <laughs> Welcome to Ace Attorney. The clock might have been emptied after she heard it. And that is exactly what happened, Your Honor. Well, Mr. Wright, can you prove when the clockwork was removed? No, yes, yes the phone call. I can. The phone call. That's what the I tried to yeah, say yeah. just before. Okay, sorry, yeah. <laughs> I thought, you, I thought you were talking about the wiretap. I thought you were talking about the wiretap. Yeah. So. Oh, impossible, of course. I have proof. What? <laughs> what? Wasn't it you who told me proof is everything? Well, I was listening. And now I'll show you the proof you like so much. The ev- Not to you. The evidence that proves with when the clockwork was removed the is... My cell phone. phone. Take that! Take that! Take a look at this. Mm, that's a very cute cell phone. Is it yours? It's very demure. <laughs> Can I have some evidence? Thank you. Oh, ho. Oh, you have a girly phone. But, hey, this isn't my phone. Listen, this is the defendant's cell phone, and it contains a recording. 
A recording of a conversation she had with a victim on the day of the murder. <gasps> order, order! The defendant's cell phone. <laughs> this wasn't brought to my attention. Perhaps Detective Gumshoe overlooked it. He just like, he just like, he just like, he just like slowly tilts his head towards the detective. Oh, fuck do you <laughs> mean? I think the detective better remember he's up for evaluation soon. I gotta say, I'm starting to feel bad for the big fellow. Let's hear the conversation. He... He's already, already heard this conversation like three times. September 5th, 9... 27 a.m. Beep. Beep! Go on, Wicked. Your Honor, I think this makes it clear the clockwork was already gone by the time this was recorded. Which was... Well before the witness even arrived at her hotel. M m m well, Miss May, would you care to explain this to the court? Yes, how did you know that weapon was a clock? W well, well, isn't it obvious? I saw that clock before. Um, what store was that again? I, I go to so many. Oops, I forgot. So the witness has seen it before, that would make sense. Does the defense have any objections, Mr. Wright? Yes. <laughs> what is the objection, Alec? Do you remember? <laughs> oh, Larry made it. Yeah, Larry made it, though. Okay. <laughs> the witness claims that she had seen it before, but this directly contradicts a piece of evidence that already submitted to this court. Well, then, let's see it. Please produce this evidence that will prove the witness had not seen the clock before. Would you provide the clock? Made, made by, by Larry Larry Bots. <laughs> Hey, I made that! <laughs> Whoa! It's simple. This clock was never in any store. Ever. What? A friend of mine made that clock. Only two exist in the world. And the one that isn't here in... Here is in police custody. Yeah, because both have been murder weapons. <laughs> How funny is that? Both, both... There's only two in the world. Both have been murder weapons. <laughs> Just the way the world works. Impossible. Everything is sold in stores. Miss May, I think it's high time you went shopping for a better excuse. Oof. <clears throat> Damn. Oh, excuse. Excuse is not in sale today. <laughs> I'm going Super Saiyan! Ah! <laughs> The jiggle, and oh my god, now her face is... What's to you, Pokemon head? <laughs> that stupid clock doesn't matter, okay? She did it, and she should die for it. Die! Teehee. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, whoa, <laughs> let's not get ahead of ourselves. This is a court of law, and the witness will remain calm. Oh. Oh, ho, 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 silly me. Did I, um, like, lose it? I guess I did. Teehee. Scary. Miss May, let me ask. Tell me, how did you know the weapon was a clock? Hmm. Oh, dear. Does the defense have an opinion on this behavior? Okay, this is it. Yes, Your Honor. Allow me to explain how I see the truth of the matter. Miss April May, you knew the weapon was a clock because... You yeah. heard about it. Oh, you held she it. She didn't help. She's heard about it. Yes. Because of the wiretap. Fuck yes, Alec. <laughs> the witness had never held the clock in her hand. However, she had heard that it was a clock. She heard? That is correct, Your Honor. <laughs> yes! <laughs> there is no way she could have known the thinker was a clock. And I can show you the proof. Well, this is interesting. Let's see it, then. Show me evidence proving that the witness had heard the murder weapon was a clock. Wiretap. Wiretap. Take that! Have a look at this. Uh, oh, th that? <laughs> I found this in Miss May Miss May's room. Miss Maya? <laughs> Maya May? Dude, Miss Moo's room. We've got Mia, May, and Maya. <laughs> like, there's three. <laughs> Mr. Wright, please explain to the court what this is. Miss April May, you were tapping the victim, Miss Mia Fay's phone, were you not? Uh, oh. Your Honor, this is irrelevant. 
I'm not entirely sure that it is. Subjection overruled. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck do you mean? Get out of the game. <laughs> fuck, Edward. It troubles me that our witness was in possession of a wiretap. This is outrageous. Does the defense truly claim that the witness was tapping her phone? Absolutely. Even if that was the case, which it's not, you still have to prove one thing. Did the victim ever say that the weapon was a clock on the phone? Can you prove that? I think not. Can? <laughs> they it, took the shit out of the phone. The out of the clock. The g- <laughs> Fuck. Welcome to I don't think I can, it's simple. What? <laughs> Here's my proof. The proof that the victim said on the phone that the weapon was a clock is... You just present the, the, cl- the fucking, fucking phone. phone! Do I have to specifically check here? Let's see. Let's, let's see. What's up? You mm-hmm. haven't called in a while. Mm-hmm. The statue. It's, it's, it's a clock. A clock. <laughs> wow. They did the thing. Wow. Wow. Shit! I'm so glad we're playing this game. Shit! I'm so glad we're playing this game. I was the, the defendant's phone. Yes, we've seen that. <laughs> Listen once more to the conversation between the defendant and the victim. <laughs> <laughs> Beep! Miss April May, use the white tap to listen to this conversation. That's how you the thing was a clock. Am I wrong? Aye, <laughs> aye. Fuck, shut up! <laughs> You're on this is ridiculous. <laughs> this is silly. <laughs> this is goofy. You wanna look at the witness's face. Does she seem amused to you? The defendant demands an answer. Le- 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 witness, answer the question. Did you tap her phone? Miss May! Shut up, all of you. Oh, no, oh, no. You lawyer! <laughs> it's not fair. All of you gay out me like, nah. What the fuck? This is the one time you changed the voice? Oh, so I'm the bad girl. Is that it? Is that it? Wow. <laughs> that did it. The court's seen the real Miss April May now. Now to deal with the final blow. You didn't, didn't you? Oh, why the wiretap? Fucking tap? didn't. <laughs> Where did you tap a phone? Answer the question. Do I have to? Isn't this a murder trial? Isn't tippity tapping uh, irrelevant? Yeah, she's saying exactly what Edgeworth wants her to say. Miss May, you were tapping the victim's phone. I hardly call that irrelevant. Oh, this court does not condone the defense's tone of voice. He has a point. What tone of voice? I'm just being gay. (laughs) (laughs) Well, Miss May, do you have an explanation for the court? Can you prove you had nothing to do with this murder, even though you tapped her phone? Ha, I'd like to see her pull that off. Mr. Lawyer, I saw that evil, evil grin. You were everything. I'd like to see her pull that off, weren't you? Damn, she's good. Well, you're not the first man who's thought that. And of course, I can and will. We'll see how next time. You can't be serious. No way. Absolutely, Phoenix, right? We'll be next time. <laughs> <laughs>